Hey everyone, welcome to a quick demo of paper engineering. I'm Matra from Paper Crane Lab and we are an educational institution where we learn about science, tech, engineering and mathematics, also known as STEM, through creative art-based classes. In this video, we're going to show you a small demo of what you can make with paper engineering. So paper engineering and creating movable books is a craft with over 700 years of history. Paper engineering refers to the art of designing and creating mechanisms and sculptures with paper. It's used to create books that pop, where readers can interact with elements on the page by revealing a spread, pulling a tab or opening a flap. In this class, we'll be learning how to make many cards and mechanisms like the ones you see over here. Today, we're going to be working with a template that is already made. In the classes, you will also learn how to measure and make your own templates so that you can create your own worlds and sculptures. So let's get started. We have a PDF attached to this video, so go ahead and get a printout of that. You'll notice that there's two kinds of PDFs, one that is already decorated and one that uh, is plain and has space for you to decorate. Today we're working with the one that already has the decorations over here, but you can print out whichever you prefer. So along with that PDF, you'll also need some glue, um, a paper cutter or scissors, and a scale. And if you're going to be decorating it, go ahead and grab whatever materials you want to decorate. You can just simply use a black pen, sketch pens, colors, anything. So pop-up rooms can look different like this, but they all have the same basic structure. A wall, a floor, and furniture inside. And in most of the cases, you'll see that the furniture is attached to both the wall and the floor. So let's go ahead and create the basic structure first. To do that, you will have to cut out the two pieces here called walls and floor. So let's uh, go ahead and cut that out. All the solid lines are meant for cutting, so make sure to cut only along the solid lines and not the dotted lines that you see. Now once you're done cutting, we have to be folding along the dotted lines. So we're just going to quickly create creases here. Um, you can do it using a scale, I'm going to be using it doing a blade over here. In our classes we'll show you multiple methods uh, that you can use to crease as well so that you can get good folds. I'm just going to go ahead and quickly make a small crease so it's easy to fold and then fold all of these uh, structures. So I'm going to fold the floor like this where two of the ends fold inwards and the diagonal line folds upwards. Like this. Perfect. And the wall will just be a simple fold inwards like this. If you're making your own um, if you're working with a plain template and you want to decorate uh, your wall and your floor, pause this video here so that you can finish decorating your wall and floor and then move on to sticking them together. So once we're done, we're going to be sticking the wall and the floor together such that the flaps on the two sides of the wall will come and stick to the two sides of the floor. You can either stick it inside or outside depending on what kind of finish you want, whether you want this to be seen or not. So I'm going to make it such that it is seen today. So I'm just going to put some glue over here and stick this flap. And then we're going to go ahead and fold this in like this and then put glue on this side of the flap close the whole structure. Make sure to really press it and give it some time to dry and once that's done you have a basic pop-up room structure like this which collapses and opens up. Now let's start adding some furniture here. First we're going to be cutting out the bed that we have over here. Once it's cut, you can fold it along the dotted lines like this. So 
that it looks like this. I'm just going to show it to you from all angles. And now you can decide where in the room you want to place it. So maybe you want to place it here or here. So you can place it on any end. You just have to be careful that it doesn't touch the diagonal line because then we won't be able to fold the structure like this anymore. So I'm just going to be placing it over here. And we're going to be placing it such that the single flap side is going to get stuck to the wall and the double flap side over here, the bottom one will be sticking to the floor. If you're, again, if you're planning on decorating your furniture, pause now, decorate it and be sure to remember which side goes where so that you can decorate it accordingly. So once you're done decorating, apply glue to the two flaps over here. Stick it to the wall and floor respectively. Now this should be forming a perfect rectangle over here. To ensure that what we're going to do is we've applied glue lightly and just placed it and we're going to fold this entire structure in. Like this. And that will ensure that the bed gets stuck properly to the wall and that it's forming a perfect rectangle like this over here. Now we need for this to dry so what we'll do is while we're working on the next piece we're just going to fold it and keep it and put some weight on it so that it has some pressure. Now let's cut out the shelf. Once again, we've already decorated it here, but if you'd like to decorate it yourself, make sure to do that before you stick it. Once you have the shelf, you can fold it over here like this. Now in this case, remember, the side with the two flaps will actually go on top and this part will go on the floor, the one with the single side. So let's take our pop-up room and decide where we want to place it. Once again, remember, it shouldn't be on the diagonal, it can be anywhere else. So I'm going to place it here, right next to the bed. So once again, just apply glue on both of the flaps that are on the two ends of your piece lightly place it in the pop-up room and once it's in position fold the whole structure so that it gets stuck in place and lastly we're just going to be uh, cutting out and adding the table as well while we're doing that let's keep a heavy object on this so that it dries and once it's cut out just fold it now with the table, you can actually use it either which way you want. You can stick the table like this. Um, in this case, it's already drawn, so I'm going to be sticking it like this, and this is the top. But if you want a higher and thinner table, you can also stick it the other way, such that this little flap goes to the wall and not to the floor. So play around with this, you can figure out how you want to stick it. How we're going to stick it now is this little flap is going to go, get stuck to the floor and the flap on the other end will get stuck to the wall. So I'm just going to apply glue on the two end flaps. You would have noticed by now that the two end flaps are mainly meant for sticking and nothing else. And I'm going to place it on the other side of the room. So I've placed it lightly, it's not forming a perfect rectangle yet. I'm just going to fold it and press it hard so that it does. And there it is, you've made your very first pop-up room. So we hope you had fun doing this. In our classes we will go over how you can make these templates yourselves along with many other concepts, tips and tricks. So we hope to see you in our classes soon. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us in the following email and phone number. Thank you so much and uh, we hope to see you soon.